All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new file. So I'll go to new, and I'm going to pick small objects, feet and um, inches, feet, feet, and inches. You can choose what you want. Um, notice you can always use this file when you start Rhino. A lot of people leave it set at millimeters and kind of get in trouble that way, but click OK. Open that guy, and then I'm going to go to my top view. And what you really want to do first is kind of come in and draw out your pattern cell, right, that I was talking about before. You've probably already done this, but, um, and I would use layers to do different parts of it. So just come in and, and I'll make this layer current, and I'll just draw a rectangle, and maybe I'll turn my grid snap on for this one. So I've got the grid. Turn that grid snap off because it kind of drives me crazy. And then you can kind of, you know, if you know how big it's going to be, you can always scale it later, but, you know, you want it to be something. So two feet is fine for me right now. Um, so I've got sort of the layout for it. I'll go to my layer two and I'm just going to draw a line. So I'm just making a pattern cell, right? Draw a line there and then I'll go to my layer three and I'll draw an arc. So I'm just going to go to the fly out for the arcs and I'll do the arc start end radius. So start and, and then I have my near snap on. And as long as you kind of stay on this line, you know, if you want something in particular, you could type it in. You can see it up there. But um, I'll just do right to the midpoint there. And then I'm just going to pick this and mirror it along the midpoint here. All right? So, so that's going to be my basic cell. Okay? Um, and you can kind of use this um, to start. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll just pick this and I'll hold on Alt key and move it, make a copy. And then what I'm going to do is start making surfaces. And so I'm going to rename this to, I don't know, um, 2D1-1. And I'll rename layer 5 to 2D1-2. Okay, whoops, it's annoying. And I'll change the color of this so it'll show up a little better. Maybe I'll make it, you know, gold. Okay. And I'll make 2D11 current. And then what I want to do is I want to make surfaces out of these so they'll give me a solid read. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to explode this um, rectangle so I can use just the lines. So I'm just going to pick it and hit the explode, and then I'll explode it into lines. And then I'm just going to join these, this, and this, and then pick those and join those, right? So they just pick as single entities, okay? And now I'm just going to make a planar surface, so a planar surface, right? And just pick the outlines, so I'm holding down the shift key, hitting enter, right? And it's creating a planar surface. If I go to shaded, you'll see that start to become this particular, and I'll do the same thing over here. Right? And then um, I'll switch layers to my 2D-1-2 and pick this and pick this and planar surf. Right? And do the same thing here. Now this is actually um, you know, symmetrical along here, so the triangle could have been the cell. Um, but we're going to change pieces of it to make it unique. So, all right, so I've got that guy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lines so they don't go with me. Um, and then I'll go ahead and stop here because that's long enough. So get your one of your tiles surfaced. Um, and then we'll go in and block it and repeat it.